In this video, we are going to be focusing on registers in Edulink 1. To start, log in to your Edulink 1 homepage and click on the registers icon. Here you will see all of the registers a teacher has for the day. You also have the change teacher option. To begin, click on one of the registers to open it. You will see a list of all the students in the class and the tags associated with them. There are different options such as select all, tags, meal options, homework, behaviour, achievement, add students and flood fill. To fill in your registers you can choose to use your mouse or keyboard and you can switch between the two. You have the option to use Flood Fill by clicking on the Flood Fill button. Select the relevant mark code from the list, for example, V for Educational Visit. Click on the mark code and the whole register will flood fill. To add a comment to a student or to add late minutes, Click on the speech bubble beside a learner's image. Here you can add a comment and type in the late minutes for the student. When you are finished, click the OK button and the comment will appear in the register, indicated by the red dot. If you click on a learner's name, you can see their parental permissions and any behaviour or achievement points they have accrued. You can also see SEN and medical information if it has been enabled. Learner tags can be made visible or hidden by ticking the box at the top of your register. There are settings in the administration area to modify the available tags and whether they are visible or not. You can also include meal options where the teacher can select the meal the student has from a drop-down menu. To see the options, teachers must click the Meal Options box and then select the relevant choice. Administrators can enable this function in the Registers Administration tab. Once you have completed your register, click the Submit button. We ask you to confirm your register marks before proceeding. You can always cancel at this point if there is an error. Click Submit and a green message will appear stating that your register has been submitted successfully. If you need to access another teacher's registers, simply click the Change Teacher button to search for your colleague. You can either search for the teacher by typing their name in the search bar, or you can select the teacher by scrolling and selecting their name. Once you have clicked on the teacher's name, their registers will appear. Click on the register you need to access. To exit, click on the X button in the teacher's register or press the back key and you will return to your main homepage. It is important to note that you must select an individual learner, a group of learners or the whole class before clicking on the homework, behavior or achievement buttons. You can do this by clicking on the image or multiple images of the learners or by ticking the select all box if you need the whole class. Then click on the corresponding button for your chosen action and fill in the required fields. We will cover the homework behavior and achievement functions in detail in their own videos. If you need to add additional students to your register, simply click on the Add Student button and select the relevant student. Any students that have been added to a register will appear at the bottom of the list. Students who have been manually added to a register will not automatically appear on that class's future registers. If this is what you're looking to achieve, this should be done within the MIS. Thanks for watching. For more information on registers, please see our Knowledge Hub 
at support.overnetdata.com. Thank you.